Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here. And in today's GTA 5 video, we are going to be comparing the five brand new proximity mines that Rockstar added in Grand Theft Auto Online with the Arena War DLC, testing out what they do, their usefulness, their effectiveness, and also comparing them to the original proximity mine that was added in the gun running update in 2017. So that's right, if you take any of the new Arena War vehicles and you go to weapons, you should see that there's a couple of new options for proximity mines. You have five new ones. You have Kinetic, Spike, EMP, Slick, and Sticky. Now for the most part, their names might give away what they do, but they all have some slightly different effects, which I think is pretty uh, neat. Now, most of these will be unlocked as you progress through the Arena War career. As you can see, the majority of them for me are locked behind these pink lock signs for the Arena War. But again, as you progress further, you will start to unlock a little bit more. However, you can buy them at any time for a significantly higher price. They are expensive. And another reason why I'm making this video is because every time you wanna switch, you have to pay like the higher price again. Like for example, if you go from EMP to sticky and then from sticky to kinetic, like you have to pay to go back and forth, which is kind of frustrating. So figuring out which one you like the best will save you a ton of money too. So let's start at the top. Let's begin with kinetic. And as it sounds, this is pretty simple and straightforward. Now, one of the differences with the Kinetic Mine is it glows yellow as compared to red, like the normal Proximity Mine. You'll also notice that all of these have their own different colors. And yes, it does affect you even if you are not inside of a vehicle. So keep that in mind as well. Now, the Kinetic Mine is basically just one like force push. I guess that's like the best way to describe it. It doesn't do any damage to the vehicle. It just is like a big sort of like sonic boom that basically throws things in a bunch of different directions. Now, it will do like a little bit of cosmetic damage, like it knocked out one of my headlights and it blew out some of the windows, but it's not going to destroy your vehicle like a normal proximity mine does. It just simply will bop it in another direction, basically. So I'd say that this proximity mine will probably be more effective if the person who hits it is going at a higher speed because it will send them absolutely flying. But even if they're not going all that fast, it's definitely going to throw them off their course. So whether you're using this in the arena war mode or whether you're using this in free roam, this thing will destroy NPCs because they don't know how to react to it and uh, it'll definitely throw cops off your tail as well. And it'll also impact other players too, because again, they'll likely be traveling at faster speeds and that's gonna have a much greater impact. So that's the first one right there. That is the Kinetic Mine, tons of fun as it just throws things into the air. The next one that we're going to be checking out today is Spike. And as obvious as the name sounds, it's basically a proximity mine in a spike strip. Now its color is a little bit different. It's like this dark bluish purple color. So if you see those on the ground, you know it is a spike strip. And if you run over it, it will pop one of your tires. Now here's where things get a little bit tricky. It's only going to pop one tire depending on what side you hit it on. So for example, if you're driving over this and your left front tire runs over it, that's the one that's gonna be popped. Your other three should be fine. So it's kind of like a miniature spike strip and uh, you can obviously hit it as many times as you want and it will obviously have an impact on your vehicle and that's the only thing it does it doesn't do any more damage to the car now another thing i wanted to test here is if you had bulletproof tires on your vehicle would the spike mine actually be effective and the answer to that is no it's really not effective with bulletproof tires which the majority of players are going to have and the majority of people in the arena war uh, most of those cars come stock with bulletproof tires you're not really going to see an impact here so i'd say this is really only effective against npcs and police because 95 percent of people that i know have bulletproof tires on their car so it's not something that's going to be useful against other players because they'll simply ride right over it and they won't even notice the difference but that right there is mine number two let's move on to proxy mine number three and that one today is going to be the emp one of my favorites and the best part about this is there's no way to prevent against an emp you can put bulletproof tires on, but you can't prevent yourself from being shocked, which is something that is really, really fun. So this EMP has its own specific color too. It's like a very light cyan blue. And uh, as expected, when you drive over it, your screen sort of gets like this shocked look to it. 
and your car simply shuts down. You're unable to drive, you're unable to uh, reverse, you cannot do anything. You're basically paralyzed. And this is incredibly effective. Now, from what I've noticed, it only has an effect on one vehicle. Like, even though it looks like it's EMP range, and obviously EMPs in real life would have a much bigger range, it only affects the car that went over it. So even if there's like two really close cars to an EMP, uh, it's only the one that actually activates the mine that will be affected. So that's something to keep in mind as well, that it doesn't necessarily have the biggest range. I'd say that's like the one downside of this mine is that it's really only good for hitting one vehicle when it kind of looks like it might have the ability to hit others. But that's the third one right there. I had a lot of fun with the EMP mine. And again, like I mentioned earlier, there's nothing to protect yourself from that. So it's quite effective. The fourth one today is slick. Now slick is exactly as it sounds. It's like an oil slick. Now this mine has a bright green color as you guys can see here, and it's basically just a giant oil slick. If you run over it, your car will be unable to stop. Now, unlike the other mines that we've actually had in this video, this is not one and done. Once it's activated, it stays there for about a minute or 90 seconds where you can run over it multiple times. So this is one of two mines in game that actually has more than one use. So if longevity is something you're going for, or maybe you wanna put this right in front of a checkpoint where it's really tough for people to avoid, that could be super effective because more than one vehicle would probably end up hitting it. Now, fun fact, and I don't know if Rockstar intended to do this, if your character gets out and like walks on the oil slick, it's almost like his brain starts to shut down, has like a, a little bit of a malfunction. I don't know what goes on. You don't take damage, but your character does like the wackiest movement. And I'm not too sure why, but it was really funny to witness. I was sort of testing that out and uh, that was actually kind of hilarious. So that is like an off effect of the slick mine. Is it that it will do that? And the final of the new mines that we're going to be testing today, and that is sticky. Sticky is very similar to slick and how it will actually last for more than one car. And it's basically the exact opposite. Instead of it being like an oil slick, it's almost like you're stuck in quicksand, like your car doesn't have the ability to move. It doesn't necessarily stop you like the EMP, it just slows it down in all directions. So basically, it's a less effective EMP, but can hit multiple cars and last for a lot longer. So there is sort of like a trade-off there in terms of what you want. I'd say the EMP is more effective for slowing down one vehicle, but the sticky would be more effective for slightly slowing down uh, more than one vehicle. So again, just something to th think about right there in terms of what you actually want to go for. Now, in case you hadn't caught on yet, all five of these new mines don't inflict direct damage to your person or your vehicle. I don't want to call them passive mines because they're definitely not that. They, they have impacts on the vehicles, but they are not going to be a direct explosion like the normal proximity mine is, where if you place that on the ground, it actually just explodes once you go over it. Now, a couple of other things I noticed as well, you are limited just like you are limited with the proxy mines in terms of how many you can place down. It's five active explosives. So as soon as you start placing uh, more than that fifth one, it'll start to sort of override itself. So just keep that in mind that you aren't gonna be able to place down an unlimited amount. However, you do have an unlimited amount on your vehicle. Like if you just wanted to go around placing EMP mines around the city, you could, you don't have to go back to the vehicle workshop to uh, refill them, which is quite nice. You aren't limited in that capacity. So overall, which one of these was my most favorite? I think I'm gonna lean towards the EMP one just because of how effective it is. Now, again, the only problem is, is it really is only going to have an impact on that one vehicle, but most of the time you're gonna be using these proximity mines to take out other players in free roam or other players in the arena war mode you're not necessarily gonna be doing it for NPCs and police and stuff like that. So that's why I think the spike is a little bit less effective. The kinetic one for me is super inconsistent, whether it actually works or not. And then slick and sticky are fun, but for the most part, those are just really wacky. So I think the EMP one is the best. That's the one that I'm gonna be utilizing because it really does the best and most effective job at neutralizing other players and preventing them from either chasing you 
or taking them out completely. So anyways, I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments down below. Have you actually experimented with these new proximity mines in GTA Online? And if so, which one is your favorite? Let me know your thoughts, opinions, and more in the comments down below. If you did go on to enjoy this video though, a like rating would of course be awesome. And subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new or you like daily GTA 5 and Red Dead Redemption 2 videos like this. With all the way guys, like I said, thanks so much for watching. Take care. And I'll see you guys in the next video.